The Amazing Risky Journey of Mullets Did you see that? This sleeping fish is a mullet, and it is not alone. Mullets swim together for protection, and you've probably seen large schools passing near the shore. They feed on plant matter trapped in the sand in shallow waters. They also like estuaries. In fact, they're one of the few species able to survive in fresh and seawater. Yet they do not stay in one place for long. When it is time to reproduce, the school migrates to reach spawning areas, and on the way, the school gets bigger and bigger. But traveling with friends also makes mullets more noticeable to predators. And here is the problem. As spawning occurs in open water, there must be very dense schools for eggs and sperm to have a chance to meet. If not, they will get lost in the sea. However, we can help mullets in their journey. For example, we could change the way we fish to allow enough of them to reproduce. That way, we'll have more mullets to catch and eat for many years to come. Fish better, fish forever. But how? To allow enough mullets to reach the spawning areas and produce small fish, respect maximum length for gill nets, respect minimum mesh size, and don't fish mullets during spawning season or at spawning aggregation sites. Discover other sustainable fishing practices on fame.spc.int.